guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the power of makeup tag video that's kind of going around here on YouTube it is inspired and created by the amazing Nikki tutorials here on YouTube and basically what I'm gonna be doing is applying a full face of makeup onto half one side of my face and leave the other side completely bare and actually coming on camera here and having no makeup on at all is something that I really just got comfortable with probably within the past year here on my channel and for me makeup is definitely something now that I feel like is not necessary but it's something that I enjoy doing and I don't really use makeup to cover up my insecurities the way that I used to instead I like to use my makeup as a way to enhance my own natural beauty I used to be so extremely insecure when it came to showing my face here on my channel and as well out in public in real life without makeup and I will always remember there was a time that I went to a sleepover kind of as a young girl I was in um, I was probably around 16 or 17 and a friend of mine which I won't be mentioning any names um, she was just like wow when I came out from washing my face she was like you know that there's some girls that when they wash their face they kind of look pretty similar to the same way they do when they have makeup and then you have those girls that look completely different when they wash their faces like they look like an entirely different person and she's like that's what you are you kind of look like an entirely different person when you wash your face I remember that comment really hurting me and kind of shooting me down and um, for many years after that I won't even lie to you guys I felt it necessary to apply a full face of makeup even if I was going for a jog around my town or if I was going to the grocery store or even when I used to go to the laundromat I always felt necessary to apply a full face of makeup. Not too long after that I started suffering with really bad skin problems and a lot of you guys know that I was extremely insecure about showing my skin and the few times that I did show you guys up close and personal what my skin looked like it was very emotional for me I cried a lot about it it was just something that took a really big toll on my everyday life it got to the point where I really did not feel like myself at all and I had absolutely zero confidence when I was wearing no makeup but that's something that I've worked on a lot in the past year and I'm very happy to say that I feel 100% confident waking up and going out into the world without a stitch of makeup on. I know that since I've been on an Accutane journey, my skin has cleared up a lot, but my skin and my face and everything, nothing is perfect, you know? I still have my dark under eye circles, I still have big pores, I have an uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation, but all of that put to the side, I have finally come to the realization that this is me and I'm proud to have the face that I have and be the person that I am. Makeup to me now is finally a tool and something that I like to use to kind of embrace my own creativity and something that I like to use to enhance my natural beauty. So that's basically what makeup is used now for me and I think that this tag is such an amazing idea so if any of you guys decide to do it, definitely let me know in a comment down below so I can go and check it out. And yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. I'm gonna do probably more of a voiceover style for this video, it's not really a tutorial I'm gonna speed it up and yeah we're gonna do half a face of full glam and leave the other half fully bare and then see what we look like in the end thank you guys all so much for watching and just stay tuned all right guys so let's begin first thing that I'm gonna do is line my waterline with my favorite pencil lately and this is NYX french fries and now I'm gonna be jumping into my foundation this makes such a huge huge difference for me I'm using my covergirl aqua smooth in the shade buff beige and a big fluffy brush from Sephora. Next, I'm gonna be concealing these under eye circles and I'm using another one of my favorite products. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm using it with a Morphe brush. Here you can see me buffing out any foundation that got into my hairline. It's kind of like a little pet peeve of mine. And now I'm using a Physician's Formula Powder. This is called the Mineral Wear 
full coverage foundation or powder foundation I should say and I'm using that to set underneath my eyes now I'm going to be combing out my eyebrows you guys know that I do have my eyebrows tattooed so it's really easy for me I will have a video on that shortly and I'm using a Tarte eyebrow powder and this brush is from it cosmetics I love both of these items so so much Next, I'm going to be setting my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And now I'm going to warm up my face just a little bit. I'm using the Contour Kit, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and a Sigma angled brush. I'm just going to be applying this on my temples, right underneath my cheekbones, and along my chin. I'm going to be using my favorite blush at the moment, which is Captivating by Tarte. It's a really pretty coral color. Next, I'm going to be highlighting using Champagne Pop by Becca. I love this stuff. I cannot put it down. The brush is from Real Techniques. It's a little bit hard for me to contour half my nose, but we made it work. Now I'm going to go back to that contour kit and I'm going to be using it on my eyes. So I'm using the two lightest shades just to even out the skin on my eyelids. And I'm going to be using that warm brown color to kind of just warm up and define my crease a little bit. We're going on the natural side. You guys know me. I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush just to blend it all out and next I'm going to be curling my eyelashes using my elf eyelash curler next we're going to be moving on to liner and mascara the eyeliner that I'm using is the one by physicians formula it's the lash booster eyeliner and then for mascara I'm going to be using the miss manga rock Now I'm going to line these lips and I'm using Boldly Bare by MAC. And last but not least, I'm using Velvet Teddy, also by MAC, as my lip color. All right, my angels, and this right here is the finished look. I kind of just switched up my filming location just to film this outro and I'm like, wow. I definitely should have filmed this entire video in this location. The lighting is so much better, but yes, here we go. This is our glam side, and this is our our natural side. So I hope that you guys decide to embrace both your natural beauty and your glammed up diva side as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. So I will see you guys next time. <laughs> that was so corny. Bye.